Hello and welcome to this Let's Compile video. These are videos about programming and also about gaming because what I'm doing is I'm trying out gaming source code that I haven't written myself. But here's some comments in the source code. Uh, this program is Dope Wars, um, which is a game of buy and sell on, uh, you know, it, I've heard of people running it on calculators, but to have it running in Windows is actually a bit better because not everyone owns one of those calculators, and you can easily just uh, compile this. It's written in straight C, uh, which explains why, you know, the, the sort of libraries they've included here. This looks like declarations of variables. Uh, once again, the same sort of thing, and uh, you know the pro the source code is 3,800 lines long, so I'm not going to go through the whole thing because it'll be uh, it'll be boring. But if you really wanted to read this, you could just go to my website, which is uh, http colon forward slash forward slash rudih dot info forward slash So, you know, there's um, it's it's about buying and selling drugs. I recognise that some people might not like this game because it's about a you know a sort of a, a social and personal problem, which is drug use, and um, that's uh, you know I mean it's the sort of thing that gets censored. But really, when you think about it, these sorts of um, these sorts of things are, are actual problems that people have, and 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 often it's often it's just party drugs, and that's that's why I've left it in here. So return zero, by the way, at the end of the program here returns the program to the operating system. So what I'll do is I'll compile the software and it says uh, warning no new line at the end of the file that's nothing we don't have to worry about that and here's the game itself dope wars um, so this will give you an idea about when to buy and sell Bookie Brown gives you a loan of 10,000 bucks to start the game. The object of the game is to pay off a bookie within 30 days or end up a millionaire. A and end up a millionaire. You can fly to different cities, buy drugs and that are low and sell them for high. And that sort of thing. And let's, let's uh, say that um, New York... Okay, um, we'll try to buy some drugs here. Ecstasy's cheap, but, you know, I mean, I'm not sure how well it's going to sell. We'll buy a bit of ecstasy anyway. Just, um, 20 units. Yes. Um, buy some more drugs. No. Um, okay, well, I've got t uh, 10 units of weed and 20 units of ecstasy. If I try to sell them in this city, they'll probably be the same price. See, yeah, they are exactly the same price. Um, seven. So, but if I go to a different location using the three option jet, um, I can go to, we could go to Florida, you know, why not? Um, and try to sell these drugs. Uh, 
All right, well, the sell prices for Weed and XSC are both very good here because see, I only paid uh, 270 and 25, so I'm pretty much you know good at this point. What I'll try to sell is some uh, Weed. I'll sell the whole lot for for uh, for that price because it's pretty good. Yes, I do want to sell some more. Uh, okay, well, I'm worth I'm worth um, you know 15 grand here. I've actually done quite well. I'll just try to sell some more drugs. Uh, three for ecstasy. Sell the whole lot. Why not? No. Okay, so now I'm worth uh, 16 grand. I'll go back to. In case, well, I'll see if they've got any cheap drugs here in Florida while I'm getting into this simulation here. Well, looks like they looks like their drugs are actually kind of pricey. So, you know, I don't think I'll be buying any of those. Let's let's jet jet back to New York. All right, so I'm in trouble now. You land in New York, officer hard ass is after you. Look, at this stage, look, I, th I think I've got very little life, so I'm going to run away from him. You run down the alley and get away from hard ass. Okay, well that's good. And I'm still worth almost 17 grand. You know, it's like things are looking pretty good at this point. What I might do is go to the bank uh, let's deposit five grand. Yep, still looking pretty good. I'll see if I can buy some drugs. Well, the the crack is pretty, uh, you know, pretty tempting to buy. I mean it. I'll buy some crack. Okay, so now I'm only worth six grand. Um, but I've got a bit of crack, so that's um, that's funny. Let's go to Amsterdam, why not? Okay, we've got the police on me again. Well, you know, once again, I've got to run away from this guy. I mean... Sell. Sell some crack for... Oh, that's no good. I pay a lot more for it than what they're tr currently buying it for, so that's... Uh, yeah, I don't think I'll be hanging around Amsterdam much longer. Um, Ireland. Ireland. Um, sell. Alright, their crack is actually worth a fair bit here. So, what I'll be doing is I'll be selling, you know, some crack. Um, Alright, so I'm gradually building up my money here. See, this is the way this sort of game works. Oh, what's that? Um, 
and uh, you just sort of it's a bit like the stock market I suppose it's it's a it's a sort of sleazy way of teaching youngsters how to you know make money using things that you sort of own so what is bookie brown anyway I want to see what that is oh I'll see how much money I've got at the bank yeah there's six grand in there so so I'm not a millionaire but you can't expect me to become a millionaire within five minutes so okay well that brings me to the end of this uh, let's compile video I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.